welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Lashana if you're not new thank you for coming back so <laughs> I just I was talking to some people the other day and it occurred to me that there are certain videos that are on my channel links here that are just like short pops of fun like did you know this about Cuba? Did you know that about Cuba and thing? And then I was, uh, I thought about this one the other day, like while I was having a conversation. So apps that don't work in Cuba. And you know, this would be such a good sponsored video. I'm going to say that the VPN I use at the end of this, if you would like to sponsor me, please message me. So yeah, apps that don't work in Cuba. Y'all can tell from the title of the video. We're just going to get right into it. Snapchat and I know there are people who are watching this and being like people still use snapchat. That was me Yeah, people still use snapchat that don't work here like and has never worked here from like I came here in like 2017 2018 that app never worked here. You need a VPN for it to get to work, right? TikTok D Don't work here. I don't know why but it, it don't work here. It does not work at all. Some people say it works like with a VPN. I use a VPN. It hasn't worked here. So I don't know. But TikTok doesn't work here. So if you're a TikTok star or you like watching TikToks for like enjoyment, make sure you have a VPN. Origin. <clears throat> I, I know a lot of people don't know what Origin is. If you play Sims, you know what Origin is. People who play Sims, you know what Origin is. It don't work here. It don't basically any of the apps or like programs that are how do I put this entities of countries that are are for the embargo that exists they, or the blocking that exists here they, them don't work so yeah origin is like an American company like. So, and they create Sims and all that jazz and since Sims stopped working like with this and stuff and they came out like where it was like the software system, system origin don't work here. It legit used to be where I would only play Sims when I was back in Jamaica, like origin don't work here. Adobe for all of my content creators that pay for the actual software and you use Adobe, that don't work here. That, that don't work here at all. The website don't work here either. Like don't. And guess who had to learn that the hard way after she came up here and wanted to get back on her video editing skills that after after she switched to the mainstream editing software it don't work here and can't afford the version that stays the full version that stays on your computer and it's not like the cloud one it don't work here so if you didn't know that before and you do YouTube Origin oh, Adobe don't work here, <laughs> so that y'all know the apps from the app store, the app store on Apple don't work here. <laughs> Doesn't work. It's not gonna load. You have to have a VPN to get it to load. It's not going to load. If you want to update your apps, make sure you have a working VPN on your phone. Not all VPNs work here, but if you want to update your apps on your phone and you don't have a VPN. You could kiss it goodbye, it not even go open, it not go load or anything at all. Spotify. I don't use Spotify, but somebody told me that Spotify doesn't work in Cuba, like unless you have a VPN. Apple Music. Apparently, I don't know how true this is because Apple Music works for me even when I turn my VPN off. But there's some songs that, and I think it's a new thing where some artists won't play in, if you're in like a certain region and it picks up where you are. So like, for example, the Adele album, when it just came out, the new one, everybody was playing it here. Like we were streaming it because I have Apple Music. And then like I noticed like two weeks later, it was not able to be played. Like it went gray. Like it was still listed that it was in my, my library, but it couldn't be played. And when you click on it, it would say unable to play in your region. So some songs from Apple Music don't work depending on where you are. If you don't have a VPN and sometimes the whole app apparently doesn't work if you don't have a VPN that's what somebody else told me so yeah that being said knowing that we've already run through all of these different apps that don't work in Cuba <laughs> a VPN is your best bet 
Um, personally, the VPN that I use is ExpressVPN. The reason that I, I did my research and thing, the reason that I went with that one is that it has like, there's, it comes with a version that is like, it will stay on your laptop itself. So it's not just like a web cloud or it's not just like, it doesn't only work in the web browser, which was my biggest issue with all the other VPNs that I had before. So, for example, when I wanted to play Sims or if I wanted to launch Adobe, but it wouldn't run because it was only that VPN would only apply to my web browser. I needed it to apply to my laptop. I needed it to hide where I was on my laptop so that it would run so that the program would run even though it needed internet to run anyway. And the ExpressVPN does that. Like it has the option where it's in the web browser if you just want to turn that one on or the one that it stays on your laptop itself and blocks like the identity of your laptop itself so that you're able to launch Adobe, launch Origin, do whatever it is that you need to do on your laptop. And if those apps wouldn't work before, once I use that, it works. It is not free. I do pay for it. It's a monthly subscription. I think it's like 12, 99 for it i believe yeah um but it's bad and i pay because out of convenience it's just easier for me to be honest so if you want free vpns i want to recommend one but i can't because it worked for me and then it stopped working like a couple months later so i don't even know if i can say but um it's 1.1.1.1.1 so four ones with dots in between them um the app looks like i don't know if y'all can see here the app yeah no it, it's this one that looks like one square not one square <laughs> it's this one that looks like one and the four one to the fourth power that's the one um but that's just for like if you want to use it on your phone and as i say it stopped working for me after a while i don't know why and that tends to happen a lot with vpns over here like they'll start off good and they'll stop but express vpn hasn't i haven't had that issue it's continued working throughout the year for me they i did get an email and it was sketchy it was like they were kicking me off they were like we're terminating your subscription because of your location xyz and when i asked like why they wouldn't like tell me because by right they shouldn't know like they're not supposed to track where you are so like how how do you know that i'm somewhere that you don't support how you know that if you never track my information like you're not smart i will sue you if you don't allow me to continue paying you my money <laughs> so that i can get a vpn service this is injustice but yeah they ended up canceling my subscription and then i i redid the subscription and yeah they haven't kicked me off yet i don't don't kick me off <laughs> don't kick me off okay but yeah i hope you guys liked this short and sweet video i just wanted to do like a quick one to give out for you guys mostly things have been hella long lately and been missing <laughs> but um if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share it to somebody who is in cuba who you know is in desperate need of a vpn or who's a video editor and they use like the actual software where there's a subscription one or what they, they use the actual software and they need something to help them you can share this video with them and let them know but yeah these are the apps that don't be working so if you're messaging somebody on snapchat for months and they're in cuba and they haven't been responding they can't it's not their fault oh sh <laughs> use whatsapp but yeah Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.